All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. It is uh, 11 o'clock Pacific time here in California. And thank you so much for tuning in. I know we have a lot of folks tuning in from all over the world. So today we'll be talking about your small business companion with Zoho Contact Manager. And let's get started. Perfect. So my name is Warren. I'm the evangelist of Zoho, and I'm out of out of the Pleasanton headquarters here. And we also have Vibov out of our India office and also our support team with us as well. So if you have any questions during our presentation, please feel free to ask away in the chat box or the question box. And we'll also have some time at the end for Q&A. So today's uh, webinar will be talking really briefly about Soho's history, and then we'll have an extensive overview of what Contact Manager does, and then we'll have an extensive demonstration. Uh, besides that, we'll also talk about um, upcoming features and then the pricing as well. And again, we're, we always welcome your questions, so feel free to ask away during the presentation or um, at the end as well. And in case you want to jot down our email, if you have to take off early, our email is support at zohocontactmanager.com. Once again, that's support at zohocontactmanager.com. All right, so uh, Zoho's been in business for over 17 years, and we've been privately held and profitable the whole time. And that's, that's, that's especially important if you're looking for uh, a partner to help run the software infrastructure of your organization. You definitely want to know that uh, that company is going to stay around and be solvent. Here we're going to go into our, our overview of Zoho Contact Manager. And uh, first off, we want to clarify a little bit. We get frequent questions about CRM versus Contact Manager. And uh, if a lot of you have probably heard of our CRM. And uh, CRM is great, and it's uh, incredibly robust and powerful. But sometimes we feel that uh, CRM options are a little bit overkill sometimes for a, a micro business or a very small business. So sometimes a lot of our clients don't need a lot of the advanced features such as multiple record types. In the CRM, there's leads, uh, there's accounts, contacts, and potential deals. Uh, sometimes that gets a little confusing. Um, Workflow automation is uh, very advanced and uh, it's great for um, CRM uh, with custom functions. You can get very, uh, uh, the, the possibilities are quite endless, but sometimes that's too much. And if you don't want to worry about that, then contact manager is a much better fit. If you don't have to worry about case management or customer support and that's not going to scale in the future, then contact manager is a better fit. If you don't have to worry about talking to other apps uh, via APIs or even with Google Apps integration. If you don't use Google Apps, then this is a better uh, fit. And if you don't need to worry about customization and you just want something out of the box that you can run with in about a couple of minutes, then this is a much better fit. And uh, Zoho Contact Manager doesn't have to worry about the integrations of our other apps, such as the support apps, the marketing apps, uh, the social the social apps or uh, the accounting or HR apps. So if you just want something that's really straightforward, you want to manage your contacts, you want to manage your tasks, and you want to manage your uh, your deals, then this is uh, really easy right out of the box. All right. So if this is uh, confusing at all, you can always email us at again support at zohocontactmanager.com, and we'll be happy to see what your exact needs are and especially also to factor in your needs in the future and see what is the best short and long-term solution for you. All right, great. So uh, our, goal here, our goal here is to um, have Zoho Contact Manager be your small business companion, whether it's in the office, uh, in your pocket, on the road, and um, that's, the, that's the ultimate goal. Great, so uh, what are the strengths of Zoho Contact Manager? So it's especially helpful for organizing and collaborating with your team. And it basically puts all of your details uh, for your uh, different companies and contacts in one location. So here's a quick screenshot. And here we see our uh, contacts tab. And it gives you a nice sort of a business card view of the person, their basic info. We have a couple different views here. We can see recently updated ones. Uh, we can see all of our contacts. If you have manual approval set up for adding additional contacts, then if you click this, you have the ability to manually approve 
those new contacts. You can also view contacts that have been not been updated in 30 days. And then later in the demonstration, we'll show you the import options. We have three of them and how to also customize the contact uh, piece itself with custom fields. And it's uh, very straightforward. And also uh, with the use of tags, you have a great way to easily reference uh, different categories of data by just uh, plugging in the appropriate tag. And we've made that available for not just contacts, but also deals and companies as well. And we'll definitely show you that extensively in our demo. All right, great. So uh, let's look at some other uh, popular features. Uh, here we can ha we have the ability to share customer information and communication and have that uh, readily available to the entire team. So when you write an email, you can see the email chain, whether it's from yourself or from a colleague, and you can just stay on top of all communication. So you don't have to worry about having someone forward you an email so you know what they talked what they talked about from one single uh, place you can view and manage all of that all right so um, we also have feeds which is uh, if you're uh, if you use any uh, type of social media this is a especially popular format and you can see what's happening in the uh, organizational feed here so here we're Patricia and we see that there's an A4 uh, deal that's happening. We can see today's tasks, any overdue ones. If there's any deals this month, uh, we can see there's been an update to a previous task as well. And we can also see our, our email feed here and also uh, continuing to watch our uh, social feed here. So this way, from a single glance, you can see what's happening with your organization. And if you're the business owner and the manager, uh, you'll see your team's uh, uh, efforts and productivity reflected here as well. All right, great. So let's go to our next slide. Great. So we have a couple different uh, business scenarios that can help highlight uh, the best use of Zoho Contact Manager. And let's say hypothetically we're a creative print shop and we are working with uh, multiple customers. There's different deadlines. There's different products. Uh, working with uh, multiple staff members. Uh, even though all these different projects and moving parts uh, have their own pace and um, uh, different requirements, we can create what's called a task template. And this is especially useful for simplifying a lot of the kind of brain power of worrying about reinventing the wheel for each particular phase of a project or a client's deliverables. So here we can specify these actual tasks in the templates and we can assign that to different people, set up a due date, and you can also check the progress and status of what's happening. And this is sort of like um, a project management feature and we've built this into Zoho Contact Manager to give you that functionality without having to worry about uh, having a separate app to manage that uh, workload. So this makes it a lot easier. And again, we'll show you how these task templates work in our demonstration. And of course, of course, you have to pay the bit to uh, you have to pay the bills and get deals going. So uh, we've uh, created our deals tab with um, a real simple design in mind, so that you can stay on top of everything. And I know it's hard uh, with so many different moving parts in your business to worry about every single deal that comes comes across your desk. And it's, this will let you basically save a lot of brain power and just at a glance see what's happening. So you can see um, deals in terms of um, what status it is, who it's assigned to. You can view it by uh, the different stages it's in. And for simplicity, we have hot, warm, and cold. And you can just view and segregate your uh, deal pipeline in that fashion. And that way you can stay on top of it. Uh, I know before a lot of folks have used um, spreadsheets to manage your deals and their contacts. Um, I used to play business card solitaire on my desk and try to have these uh, uh, intelligent stacks of and stacks and piles of business cards and little loose hand notes, and that doesn't work too well. Uh, I've seen people use Google Contacts to try to manage their contacts and deals that way with the uh, star system and some flags. And tags. So uh, this will this basically makes it much more simpler for you. All right. 
And then here we have tags, which we mentioned previously. Uh, tags are uh, you can create on the fly, and you can set that up for either companies, contacts, and deals as well. So that makes it really easy to navigate um, if you want to create tags for clients um, by industry, by lead source, uh, virtually anything that's helpful to you and your organization. And we'll show you how to use those in our demonstration, of course. And here, uh, delegation is important. And as you grow your team and you can um, uh, uh, do more things, here you will be able to let you delegate different tasks and task templates in, in their entirety to your team. And as the manager and business owner, you can see what they're working on, what the status is, if it's completed or in progress or not started. Uh, you can see what's uh, pending, what's overdue, and uh, this is just really handy for managing your staff. And uh, in our demonstration, we'll also show you how to manage uh, permissions as well. So uh, the right person sees the right data and uh, you don't get that mixed up. All right, great. So uh, with uh, other, other features in mind, we've wanted to make sure that Zoho Contact Manager is especially accessible for you. And of course, we've invested heavily in the mobile apps. So we want everything to be accessible for you on the go. And we know that you're on the road, you're working in the office, uh, you're, you're trying to take care of business You know, from the moment you wake up to the breakfast table. Uh, maybe you're at the airport, you're on an airplane, you're in a taxi cab, you're driving, you're commuting. You want access to your data and you want to be able to uh, see what's happening in your business. So please feel free to check out the Android app and the iOS app as well. Uh, they're both available and free as well. And so we have a couple great things built in, uh, especially social integration. So you can manage your uh, Facebook and Twitter feed and see what's happening. And instead of having to worry about to log into the separate app, you can take care of everything within Zoho Contact Manager. All right, great. And then uh, another great popular feature we have here is we can populate a geographical map based on your location. And you can see who's nearby. And if you're in town on a business trip and you have some spare time, you could always uh, get driving directions um, from the app and have a courtesy visit. So that's uh, especially helpful to leverage um, uh, the proximity of your contacts. And that's available on both the Android and iOS uh, smartphone app. Perfect. So with that, we're going to get into our demonstration. All right, perfect. So this is Zoho Contact Manager, uh, the home page. And for comparison's sake, I want to show you what the home page for Zoho CRM looks like really quickly. So this is um, Zoho CRM, and uh, uh, it's especially different in the setup page. So if we go to setup, we'll have this. And I'm on the Enterprise Edition. And there are some 13 different sections to customize and to tweak. And each of those have about a half a dozen fairly complicated uh, settings and uh, different different items. So this gets uh, pretty um, pretty challenging if you've never if you haven't done this before. And for Zoho Contact Manager, uh, setting up is very simple. So we only have six tabs here, and we if we go to settings, it's very straightforward. We're adding new users. We're plugging in organizational data. We're managing two tabs. Uh, we can set up roles and permissions. We have a web to contacts form. We can set up our POP3 uh, email settings here. We manage our email templates and task templates here. And you can manage your subscription with Zoho. So it's very straightforward compared to uh, Zoho CRM setup. So in terms of intimidation factor, um, contact manager is much more simple. So if you want something that's out of the box and that you can use in the first five minutes, uh, this is uh, much, much easier. So that's uh, a quick um, uh, comparison between the two in terms of its setup. And with that, let's actually look at how we get the setup. So we can add a new user here. We'll send an invitation to that person. We can designate which role they have in the organization and that controls their permissions as well. And we'll show you how to set that up in the roles tab here next. So if we click roles, here we can see a kind of a organizational chart. And 
this is helpful to uh, reflect what types of data you want your team to see. So, uh, for example, uh, the manager can see his team leader's information, uh, but the team leader cannot see his manager's information. So, uh, data basically re uh, follows a chain of command. So, you can create this here and have that reflect your organization. And then if we go to our second tab here, we will just plug in our basic um, company data. Uh, here we can manage our basic tabs, and if you want it, if you want both of them on, um, so that's pretty straightforward here. Just click that if you want it to turn off. Uh, we have another uh, setup item here, which is our Web2 context form, and this is especially popular. So what this is is this is going to build a website integration where you're going to have a form on your website. And once that gets filled out, it's going to automatically generate as a contact in Contact Manager. And this way, you don't have to kind of um, worry about any data entry. Uh, sometimes uh, forms are sent via email or a customer has a call in to give you the information. This makes that whole process automated. So let's look at how we actually set that up. So we would first set up the form name itself, set up the URLs and the domains, and then we can specify what fields you want to ask. And a field is just a point of data entry. So it could be an email field, a name field, a address field. So you can set that up here, and if these are not to your liking, you can create uh, custom fields in addition to this as well and uh, hone in on the exact data that you want. You can also enable manual contact approval. And what this will do is on our contacts page, there's a uh, approval uh, view. And you basically have to approve those leads one at a time. So uh, if you don't want to worry about that, I would uncheck it. But if you do want to uh, visually confirm and approve all those leads, then this is a great feature here. And you can also assign specific users to handle the leads that come from this web form. So if, um, if you want, if uh, our hypothetical Patricia character here wants to handle all the internet leads, this is what we would do. And here we can set up a notification so that Patricia is notified that there's a lead. And we can also assign a tag right here. So again, we have those tags for easy navigation. And you can create a tag here and easily uh, see those leads. So once we save this, the actual HTML source code will be generated for you. And all you have to do is copy and paste and put this into your website. So uh, depending if you have a webmaster or designer working with you, um, the only uh, best practice advice we can give you is um, uh, uh, maybe worry about the actual location of where it is on a page. Um, uh, it takes a little bit of work and just, just basically test where you want this form to appear. So uh, just play with that a little bit. And, but other than that, we, we did the hard work for you and have set up everything. So just select all and copy. So pretty easy. All right, great. So that's our basic Web2 context form. Let's look at our email setup. We can set up multiple email boxes, email uh, mailboxes here. And we can specify how you want the emails to be shared. You can set up if you want new emails to be converted to, to uh, contacts immediately. And um, yeah, if you have multiple aliases, you can just set that up here. And uh, this is configured for POP3. Perfect. All right, so next we have our templates. And these include both task templates and email templates. So for task templates, we can create brand new ones here or uh, update existing ones. So for example, we have our design template here and it has two basic tasks which are uh, showing design samples and also asking for brochure, brochure content. We can specify the due date, the status, the priority level, and who this gets assigned to. So uh, instead of creating individual tasks each time, this will save you that, that effort and get a portion of that automated in a sort of a project management style. Great, so that's, this, is, this will be pretty handy to set up for you. Uh, next, we have our email templates, and it's really straightforward if you've uh, set up a template before. Uh, we'll, we can specify the template name, the subject line, um, if you want any attachments. And then the uh, editor itself, 
we can use merge uh, tags and fields here, which are really handy when you want to do mass emails or just want to save time. So for example, if I want to send an email to John Smith, um, I can, instead of typing hello John Smith on each different email for each different name, I can uh, set up, I can select a user's first name or last name and have it auto populate here. So each email is personalized and tailored um, without me having to do that. So that's especially helpful. And here we have our uh, signature set up to be uh, the contact manager user's information. So uh, you can play with this and customize this to your liking. And um, yeah, this will save you a lot of time with the, uh, the merge fields here. All right, so we're gonna save that. And uh, our last option here in setup is going to the subscription page. And this will take you to the Zoho store where you can manage uh, what version of contact manager you have and how you're paying and uh, those sort of things. Perfect. All right. And uh, in case you have any questions that we haven't covered, of course, you can always email us at support at zohocontactmanager.com or you can always jump to the FAQ page. And that will send you to the help page here. And we have all different categories of quick tips of how to navigate uh, the different features here. So if this doesn't answer your question, you can always reach us directly via email. All right, perfect. So let's jump back to Contact Manager and go to the home page. We're going to walk through each of these tabs here. So again, we're just here at the home page. And at a glance, we can see if we have any tasks for today, any overdue tasks, uh, any deals that we're responsible for this month. Here we see our emails here. Here we see our Facebook and Twitter feed. And if we like something, we can click it and we can respond with uh, uh, the same basic commands in Twitter. And uh, this, this way you can just, again, stay at one place and you don't have to worry about changing windows to stay on top of everything. All right, so besides that here, we can update a status and we can say um, maybe something like, hi team, won't be in on Friday. And this will share our status here with the team. And you can run a comment chain here. Uh, if there's anything else we can do, we can add other tasks. We can add a deal. We can also compose an email from right here as well. All right, great. So that's what we can do on the home page. And next, let's go to our Companies tab. All right, so for our Companies tab, we can see our list of different organizations that we're working with. On the right-hand side, we have a button to add additional companies. We can see recent updates, or we can see uh, not updated in 30 days. Uh, we can, again, uh, customize what these actual tabs look like. So let's just pick one at random here. Let's pick Acme Corporation. And we just have some basic information. Uh, we can see if there's been any recent updates, see if there's any associated contacts. There's not for this one. We can see if there's any deals, any uh, ongoing tasks, any comments. So comments are helpful. This is uh, sort of like a notes field. So we could say, um, great potential clients. So this way, uh, comments can be viewed by yourself or by your team. And everyone can uh, contribute to this comment section, and you can have a nice um, sort of a, uh, informal database for what's unique for this company. And besides that, we can again add tags. So this can be for any sort of purpose. So what I like to use it for is maybe uh, lead source is important or uh, maybe industry. So we can say Acme Corporation is... Um, uh, likes to do anvil fabrication. So something like that. And here we can see users involved, and currently it's assigned to myself as a record owner. But we can always change that to someone else, so that's not a problem. All right, so that's, a so that's what a basic uh, company um, uh, record looks like. And Besides what we saw previously, we can also add a custom field. So you can get that additional information you would like. So if you want to add maybe a text box to ask uh, something else, or uh, maybe maybe a nice uh, custom field will be um, 
um, favorite product uh, in your product lineup or something else. So the so you can use you can create the custom field to meet your needs here, and just specify that here. All right, great. So that's uh, basically our companies. And if we add a company, we have a couple different options. We can use Facebook to um, add a company. We can have the information be pulled from the website directly. So if we looked up um, Amazon, what happens is going the contact manager will uh, just look at different options here and will try to pull that data. Or you can do it yourself instead of using the autofills. So we can specify uh, the website, the company name, the description. And again, if you wanted additional information, you can use the custom uh, fields out of the customization function here and just get that added. So that's how we would add a new company. And as we proceed to the contacts tab, you'll see that it's very similar as well in its layout and its feel. We have our basic list, the same adding functions, uh, the same tags, but here we can import different contacts. All right, so if we click our import button, we can import contacts from uh, a, a spreadsheet or comma separate values here. So it's very straightforward. And we can also pull it from Zoho contacts. So if you've already used Zoho Mail, uh, your address book from Zoho Mail will populate here, and you can select which ones are appropriate to add to contact manager. And if you use Gmail, uh, you can add Gmail as well. So as a best practice, I'd be a little careful. A lot of people like to use um, Gmail for both personal and business. Uh, if you don't want your personal records to uh, be added, just uh, be very selective after you authenticate. So uh, here's, your, here's your three options. And with that, let's actually look at what a contact looks like. So let's look at... Um, Anthony Riley here. All right, so he works at our fictitious Zillium Financial Services. And we can see that there's no current updates. Are there any business deals? You know what, let's add a business deal here. So let's say um, uh, we'll do a February widget purchase. And it's valued for $1 million. And the closing date is February the 2nd. And we'll create a quick tag for this. And let's say uh, based on the current success of the uh, potential deal, you can designate if it's hot, cold, or warm. So let's say for our purposes, it's steaming hot. So we'll save that. And then bam we get asked, do you want to create a task for this deal? So we can create a brand new task, or if you recall, these are our these, this is our task template list that we looked at earlier, and we can assign these tasks directly here. So let's just pretend this is the correct task template, and we'll just add that, and bam. We see a couple different tasks here, and if we click them, we can see the status. It's not started, here's the due date, here's, the, here's who it's assigned to, and if you want to update this, we can always change this to a different person. We can update the status, and we can change the priority. All right, great. So that's how you would uh, use the contacts page in conjunction with the tasks and companies. So let's go back to Anthony Riley. And so we just looked at tasks. We can look at comments. So again, these are the notes. And we can also do emails here. So if there were any emails that were sent from our, from us or from anyone else on the team, it would show up here. So that way everyone can see on top of all of the communication. All right, great. So let's look at um, customization of our contacts. So if we click customize contact detail here, we are shown some custom fields. So there's a couple different options here. Whatever is most helpful for your organization and what data you want to collect, uh, you can have that here. So if we click Add Custom Field, there's the same um, eight options here. Eight, eight, yeah, eight options. And you can specify what the label is and the length. All right, great. So that's our Contacts tab. And, it, and we also still have the tags here. So if we clicked 
a relevant one such as the web form uh, tag for the web leads we'll see which one pops up there if we have one for San Francisco so here I pop up here and so yeah so that's how you would use the tags for quick navigation and then continuing to our deals here we see all of our different deals so we have uh, our February widgets purchase here that we that we created earlier and here in the pipeline it's uh, set up for February 2nd and here's some other ones as well here on the top we can organize uh, what deals we want to look at and what specific time period we can specify the status and we want to see maybe all deals that we won all that are pending and perhaps uh, deals that we lost and um, that's always helpful to see what deals fell apart and why because um, failure is not fun but it's important great and we can also see what deals are assigned to who as well all right great so that's deals and again we have tags and you can add a deal and so if you want to create another deal let's say um, March widget deal or $10 we can associate that with someone else or a specific contact so let's say it's with myself and the closing date is in March and we'll tag this again to widgets and we'll save that and it asks us do you want to do a task let's create a brand new separate task call and say hello in February so we could set a quick task to call and we'll set that here and we'll save that. All right, perfect. All right, so with that, we just looked at our deals tab and let's go to our tasks. All right, so here with tasks, we can see what specific action, actions we need to have done. So this is where the rubber meets the road. So here we can see what's open, what's overdue, and what tasks are closed. So we can see what's overdue, what needs to be done for today. We can see uh, what my colleagues are also doing. And we can also see, um, uh, let's see, we can also view a report, which we'll show you later as well. So again, if you want to add a task, it's very straightforward. Uh, we have a couple different options. Again, we can, this button here sends the, pops up the templates. So if you want to attach a template here, or use a task template, that's pretty straightforward. If you want to assign this to a different owner, we can do that right here. If you want this to be high priority, we can just click the alert button here. If you want a reminder notification, you can set that here and it will give you a quick notification on the appropriate day. So that's our task tab. And now let's go to reports. And again, if you have any questions during our presentation, please feel free to ask away in the chat box or the question box. All right, great, so here's our report list and we have four reports currently. We're working on expanding this. So first off, we have our company and contact mailing list. And what this does is this will populate a list of all of our companies. So um, you can have this emailed out to, to yourself or anyone else. You can have this exported in various formats or you can print this. So whatever is most, hand, uh, most handy for you. And if we click our drop down here, we can also go to the contact mailing list. And this will also populate all of our contacts. And you get the same options of emailing this list or exporting it in various formats or printing it. And the last two reports is our reports for deals and tasks. So if we look at deals, we can specify uh, what time period you would like to look at. Here we're just looking at this month. Uh, we can look at next month and we should see our widget deal here. Uh, and again, we can email this report or export it or print it. So as a manager, you want to review this. And um, great. And besides that, we can also look at uh, specific tasks. And again, similarly, you can specify the time period you would like or even a custom time period and you can mail, export, or print. All right, great. So uh, that's all of our tabs and all of our settings. Uh, besides that, we have um, a quick notification here if anything popped up. 
So remember that notification button we set up earlier, you'd have a quick reminder here. And um, great, so that's our demonstration, pretty simple. Uh, and um, let's jump back to our presentation. All right, so with that, I'm gonna turn the microphone over to Vibov and he's gonna talk a little bit about our uh, uh, new features coming up and also the pricing as well. So, uh, Hello everyone, I'm pretty sure uh, you've got a good idea right now of uh, what Contact Manager has been. And all right, we've got a fresh new release set out to join you soon. What we've got is a completely revamped uh, UI fresh and very, very intuitive. Now gone is the older layout. You have some nippy features like a multi-conditional search, a new cloud picker. We do have a social module and some more mail options as well. So let's get straight to it and let me just take you through. So, Right, so this is what the new UI is going to look like. I presume, yes, you. I hope you all like it. it. For once, it looks drastically different than what it is. It's way simpler too. Now this is the feed screen that should be, that will be showing up. Let me first take you through our biggest, uh, rather more, the feature that will be most used here. Now, rather than a generic single general search, you can have a multi-conditional search. Now, let's say you want to find, all right, one of your customers is in Kansas City and all you remember is that their name starts with S. So how do you do that, right? So you click on contacts here. You say, yeah, that's name and uh, name starts with, so you just said S. All right, so where are they staying? They're staying in Kansas City, right? All right, so. Let me just pick the city, and city is Kansas. All right, so let's search. Ah, so there are two of my contacts are staying there. That's straight out, just two results. I don't have to dig into piles of contacts for that. Now, let's just say you want to just know whose birthday it is day after tomorrow. Maybe you just want to, mm, Send a personal invite, better customer relationships, All right? So contacts and all right, let's say date of birth from today to Sunday. So I have four people whose uh, birthday is there between these four days. And yeah, I can send them personalized messages all right, let me put in one more condition. So if I'm specifying birthdays, and I also need to know if this contact is present in one city. Well, let's say state now. I want to find someone who's based out of Connecticut, so let's try that out. Oh yeah, there is someone. So that is our smart search feature. And uh, next, we'd be going to our Cloud Picker module. Now let's, uh, you've had an overview of the comments tab that was there earlier. Now what we've incorporated into that is while I'm adding a comment, let's say against Acme Corp, I need to store some files, possibly maybe a contract approved. And if I need to store my contracts, let's assume. So I can now import and attachments from Zoho Docs, Google Drive, Dropbox, and Evernote as well. So, all right, so I've just picked up three attachments here and Voila, they're there. Straight and easy. So now going up to our email module, which is here, we've also incorporated a forward option now that was uh, 
not there earlier. All right, so let's get into the settings section. Now, this is one thing which I wanted to show all of you. Within the mail option, we we've not had uh, as Warren was mentioning. Let's say you've configured your mailbox. Now, some of your mails are personal mails. You obviously wouldn't want to share all your mails with with your employees per se, with uh, with your manager. Uh, there are some specific set of mails that you want to, and some set that you don't want to. So you can classify the mails as per the folders, and then you can state a rule saying, oh, all right, mails coming into my personal folders are excluded. They, I don't want them as contacts, only into the business folder. So you can set those folders here. So that is an uh, overview of uh, the new UI. So let me take you over our new pricing now. And Vaibhav, can you also elaborate on when this will all be available, please? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, that goes without saying. We will have it ready in uh, by this week. That will be a try option where you can try the layout out. And uh, come next week, you should be able to try it. But the full release is going to go out sometime in February. Uh, it'll be the, the trial is open now. I mean, you can just uh, have yeah, get your fingers wet uh, shortly. So uh, yeah, we could switch over to pricing now. And uh, by the way, we've reduced our price, so we've gone uh, to giving you even more better value now. And also, not to forget your free upgrade. Uh, that's coming up shortly. Yeah, great. So, as all of you would know, we've already had a free plan. We 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 believe in the freemium model, and so we believe in operating in that space. Now, what we've added is a smart plan, where the per month price is about fifteen dollars. But the most important feature is that there's no user limitation now. You add unlimited users. Now, we do not want to curtail how many number of users your organization has. Or you don't, there's no per user price. So $15, you get to have and manage 10,000 contacts and 1,000 deals. And in the unlimited model, the ultra plan, $25, you have unlimited users, unlimited contacts, and unlimited deals. So it's not as expensive as before. In fact, it's much better value now. Now to the most anticipated part, our free upgrade. So for all of you here, uh, you can have an immediate upgrade to the any of the plans that you wish for, either Smart or Ultra, for a period of one month, free of charge. And after using that, should you want to sign in for an yearly subscription, if you want to come in, you get one more month free. And not to forget that we also offer a two month free uh, subscription for yearly uh, plans, which takes you to about a four month free subscription. That means you pay for 10 months, but you get to use the product for 14 months. And uh, that's quite a deal. So you can write to us at uh, our uh, support portal, support at SohoContactManager.com, mentioning uh, the plan you wish to be upgraded to, and we'll upgrade you instantly. And over to you, Warren. Perfect. Thank you, Vaibhav. And with that, we want to thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate you taking uh, time out of your day to uh, look this up. And again, here's our uh, support email. We'll be happy to answer any and all questions. And we will hang around as well to answer any remaining questions. So again, thank you so much. And this is the end of our presentation. We will be emailing the recording, uh, this presentation itself, and our user guide for your uh, review. So again, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Vibov, And thank you to our team that's answering uh, chat in the background as well.